Joining us this morning from Washington is criminal profiler Pat Brown. Pat, always good to have you with us. Uh, as we heard from, from Hattie, this is now officially a criminal investigation. Officials have said, look, this is just a natural progression in the case, but it, you can't help but think it sounds a little bit more ominous. What does that classification tell you about the case? Well, you know, one would think this was pretty much a criminal investigation from the very beginning, and one would hope that they followed it as a criminal investigation from the very beginning. I mean, there's always an off chance that he wandered off and it was just fine. He just got lost and somebody picked him up and was trying to help him out. I mean, it's, it, it, that would be pretty hard to believe, but okay, he's only seven years old, so that's not so likely as a teenager, which, you know, then you'd say, well, maybe he just ran away. So. You know, but I think it really has been a criminal investigation, but they have come up with nothing at this point. And mm -hmm. it's possible also that they have some interesting leads or they have some theories, and they're pretty much sure that something terrible has happened to Chiron. So either by a stranger or family, we just don't know all the situation. Does so this, I'm, I'm assuming they have a lot of stuff they're looking at. Does that classification, though, now, and especially now that young Chiron has been missing for 10 days, does that open up further resources? Well, you know, it, I think it just focuses them in more, somewhat less, less on the search and rescue, because mm -hmm. at a certain point what happens is you simply can't really look for a child or a body everywhere in the United States. It gets to a point of ridiculousness. You can't go down right. every hill and crevice. I mean, it's, it's, most of the time bodies are actually found by joggers and dog walkers. If, and so usually the search doesn't even do anything, but we have to try. There's and of course at this point, yeah. I was, I was going to say, Pat, you know, there's been a lot of focus on the family and the fact that the family has been very quiet. We right. saw them yesterday standing by the sheriff. We haven't heard from them. There's been some criticism uh, that the family hasn't spoken out more. Uh, is that something that, that is being uh, justifiably criticized? Well, I, you know, I think in this day and age, I mean, let's face it, anybody who, uh, with the internet and with all the media, generally speaking, if you come to the public attention, you're going to be criticized by somebody, and we all know that being in the media. We, we, you know, we see that all the time. People are criticizing us. So if you're a family, poor things, you know, they're thrown into the limelight in a horrible situation. So what happens is everybody focuses in, and since we know that most children are killed by a family member, they're looking immediately at the family saying, how are they behaving? And they think it's kind of unusual that they didn't come forward right away mm -hmm. and ask the, for the community's help. And, Do you and find that very, unusual, Pat? It, it is kind of unusual. But, you know, there are some people who are just very, very meek. They just are afraid of being in the public eye. They just, you know, they just, they just think the police will do this. I mean, there are people like that. So I can't say that absolutely says something strange. But that does, you know, make people raise their eyebrows a little bit. And the, um, so what we don't know is exactly how much the police have investigated where Kyron's movements were or where the stepmother, basically people looking at the right. stepmother. She left him at the school. What we don't know is could it be possible that Kyron left the school, ran back out to stepmom and said, can we, I left something at home, can we go get it? And something went wrong. A so, lot of, a lot of unknowns and, and officials, yeah. uh, understandably, a little bit tight-lipped on this one. We'll continue exactly. to follow it, though. They're looking, Pat, at every, they're looking at everything. Everything yeah. they can. Pat Brown, we appreciate your insight. Thanks. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.